All right, so uh, I'm the proud owner of this uh, lovely 1840. Uh, skid steer, K skid steer, and uh, yesterday we were using it to move some trees, and I lost all the power to the boom and the bucket. Do not wash out the skid steer before you do this. <laughs> no, no, you want you want a good amount of hay and manure underneath to hold the engine up. Been down the show before with an 1845C we had. Still drives fine, forward, back, is turned, did everything's supposed to, but zero agility hydraulics. Simple fix. So I'll show you what to do. The hydraulic pump's quite easy to get to. It's bolted right at the back here. Take these two bolts out, which are a bit of a pain because the socket just can barely fit on them. And then you pry it off and get it out of there, and it looks like that. And here is the issue, is these couplers wear out. And it's round, and round doesn't turn this anymore. Now this one, the splines are... Uh, questionable? Getting, questionable, <laughs> but the rest of the machine is questionable too, so... It's just gonna get a new coupler, and then we're gonna beat on it some more for a while. Yeah. Now we're just gonna get those four bolts out, and hopefully it slides out on an angle yeah. on the other side. If it was your machine and it wasn't all full of hay, I would be tempted to just take torches and notch this and then impact that out, but we will have a very entertaining video for you if we do that. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna take one, two, three, four off, and then see if we can move that bracket a little bit. Got your favorite motor in it, Rich. Oh, you got 4BT? I think you should just sell this thing to me. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> yeah, the thing's gonna drop. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, Is it Dow? It might be. That's 750 pounds sitting on manure. <laughs> What's gonna give? <laughs> Fine. Oh, we got a little bit of play there. He yeah. might be able to get one now. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. You're not gonna crack it loose. No. Let's see. Yeah. Impact. Oh! Prove me wrong. Give me your work, man. One. All right. Rotate the engine and do all four. Uh, again. Oh, yeah. That's good. You get that one. Nice. How it comes. Just right on. Like that. So if you've got this issue in the field, it's a simple field fix. It doesn't matter where you are. 5 8 wrench, 19 millimeter, um, enough to take the mount off, uh, crowbar to turn it over, and the very least you can get this um, to get you home. And then if you want, um, it is taking the pump apart and replacing the shaft which is kind of a pain, because it's gonna leak as soon as you're done. Poor new pump. Yeah, new pump, that's the last one we got with a new pump. Oh yeah? Yeah, that depends whether you're fixing it for yourself or for somebody else. How much is the part, do you know? $155 Canadian funds. Well, that's not bad. Right on, we'll bolt that back on, and then fire it up. Here we go. New part. So there's uh, two different ones. There's, a, I think, 11 tooth and a 13 tooth, so I was smart and I counted the teeth before I ordered it. So we always give it a little, that works on there quite nicely. Now this is a myth, do you grease it, do you not? Always. Always? Always. It's a wear part, right? Obviously it wears. <laughs> yeah. I always never I don't see know. Somebody spines. told me that you don't lube them up on the splines. Why? So, dirt so, on because them? you don't want it to move. You want it to stay put, right? Yeah, but it's, it's it moves. It, it does move. Wear. Well, definitely comment down below whether you should grease it or not. I always do. Yeah, and it failed you. Look, it broke. Yeah, but I didn't if put you this didn't together. grease it, I didn't it... put this together. Somebody else did, and they didn't <laughs> lube it up, and then it failed. So if they would what a grease on was to be going. <laughs> All right, good theory. <laughs> Where'd the holes go? I have so many comments why you didn't lube up the bolt. Because I don't want those to fall out. <laughs> why would you want the bolt to fall out? <laughs> I just put it as a proper torque, which is tight. <sighs> which is when my elbow clicks. Because <laughs> you're old. That's right. <laughs> Tighten all four, and then we'll put the... Uh, Mount back on, see if that does it. The longer bolts go in the coupler, the shorter bolts, even though they're the same thread, to hold the pump in place. Good idea to get new lock washers for the drive at the same time. Do 
not wash out the skid steer before you do this. Click, click. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> is, it, is that a snap on? It is a snap on. Oh. And I said multiple times, don't invest in expensive tools. All right, well. Pump back on. Yeah, pump back on. And that's kind of a pain too, but yeah, we'll throw the pump. Yeah, it's on like, like that, done. I think the newer ones have uh, socket head bolts in, which is be a lot easier. Like Allen's? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what. This a wobble. Oh, yeah, what you do. Cross threaded is tight, so. <laughs> That's like the <laughs> four man block tight. <laughs> yep. Because the socket just fits in there. All right, it is pulling it tight. <laughs> I thought it was stripped there. I right thought so too. I'm like, that's not good. It's a quick little five minute job and well, <laughs> realistically a 25 minute job. And then now we got a Healy coil it out, so we'll get yeah. another hour. Yeah. That's fun time. Yep. See if it does wheelies. <laughs> Side shot of it. You can do a better wheelie than that. Come on. <laughs> okay, so that was a nice quick repair. Um, it's not, it's an old machine we know and there's lots of better options out there but this is a good video for if you're a young guy and you go to an auction, um, you can see something, uh, see a machine that says the hydraulics don't work, you can take a chance on it, it might just be the, the pump drive, um, you might have to put a new pump in it with the splines in it yeah. but perfect little machine for like a thousand bucks to go start your little lawn care business or landscaping whatever i'm serious yeah, yeah. you make more money investing a thousand bucks in an old piece of crap like that than uh any truck or car or muscle car or whatever so comment if you like these types of videos we'll keep doing these videos nice quick little fix um hopefully save you some money so get out there fix it here we go